So today on Fans Choice, we have an in-studio guest. Alon Day from the NASCAR Whalen Euro Series is here in studio. Welcome, Alon. Thank you very much. Well, I'm Thank so you for having me here. Oh, my pleasure. Congratulations on the NASCAR Next announcement. That's that's amazing. Yeah, that's kind of a dream come true, you know, just crazy opportunity for me. I'm thankful for that, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Great great to have you over here. He, um, Alan Day is from Tel Aviv, Israel, and he's come over here with uh, the NASCAR Next program for the uh, NASCAR Whalen Euro Series. Coming up in a couple weeks, they have a race in Brands Hatch. It's June 11th and 12th, and uh, we're excited to watch it live on fanschoice.tv. Um, tell us about um, your expectations for Brands Hatch. Last season was my first, first podium, actually, in NASCAR, so I'm looking forward for that. Um, I know the team is pretty quick in road courses, so I know uh, that's the place I can I can get a win again, um, especially after the last last weekend in uh, in Van Rey, in the Oval in the uh, Netherlands, uh, which went a bit uh, not not as I wanted, let's say. Well, uh, yeah. e even Jimmy Johnson at Dover had some problems on the Oval yeah. this past <laughs> week, so you're in good company. So you drive the yellow car, and what number are yeah. you? Fifty four. Fifty four. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, also, Alan is uh, going to be uh, coming to his first NASCAR race this weekend at the All-Star Race in Charlotte. Um, are you excited to go head out there? Uh, yeah, it's going to be the first first ever uh, NASCAR Spring Cup race I'm going to see in my own eyes. You know, I always used to see that in the, in the, in the television. And, um, yeah, it's gonna, I'm, I'm looking forward. I just hope the weather is going to be good, you know. Yeah, the weather should hold out, but uh, you're also going to be going to the truck race, and you got a friend racing in that with uh, oh, yeah. your program. What's his name? Uh, Matt Tiff is, uh, yeah, together with me in the NASCAR Next. I'm looking forward also to see the, the truck race. Right, right. There's a bunch of great racers. Ty Majeski, who's been here on Fans Choice, and uh, Tyler Dipple. So we reached out on Twitter, and we got some questions from you guys. Um, Caution Clock wants to know, when are you going to be racing in the States? I guess he wants to see you on the ovals and, and in Spring Cup and maybe even Xfinity. When are you going to make it over here? Um, well, this year I'm in the Wheel and uh, Euro Series. So I signed for the whole season. I really hope to take to win the championship, you know. Uh, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be tough. And beside that, I'm actually looking forward to to get some deals um, here in the k &N or truck uh, for at least one or two races. Um, I'm, I'm hoping I can do it in a road course because I know I'm, you know, a specialist in road courses came from Europe. Uh, so I'm really looking, looking to get any deal um, to get in Watkins Glen maybe or Mid-Ohio or Sonoma. I don't know, but we will see. Yeah, so any NASCAR owners out there, you want a road course specialist, Alon's your guy. He's 24. He's ready to race anywhere. He's been in the States before. You've done some Indy Lights in the past in 2012, and uh, that didn't go as well as you thought it could, but um, it's you're, you're doing great in the NASCAR Wheel and Euro Series. What is your favorite track that you've raced at in the States so far? Um, so St. Petersburg was one of the best tracks I ever raced on, and, of course, Indianapolis, which... It's a big oval super speedway and was the first experience in my life with oval racing. Um, so that, that was pretty good. That's got to be crazy being Indy 200 miles an hour yeah. this close to the just ground. Just imagine this is the first race ever. First <laughs> race. I just jump in the car, 200 miles, 36 cars. <laughs> Bigger man than I am, Alan. That's for sure. That's for sure. So, Alan, was there a day when you realized you wanted to become a race car driver full time? When I was 17 years old, I raced uh, my first full season in a, in a single seater called Formula Renault, and I actually won the championship. And the moment I crossed the finish line and I won the, and I realized I am a champion. I was like, all right, I want I want this feeling my whole life, and I want to to race my whole life, and I'm gonna work as hard as I can to drive every day and to compete. As, as long as I can, as much as I can. Just wake up in the morning, know that my job is to be a race car driver. And yeah, that, that was the moment. That's a great answer. That's a great answer because I think that can go with um, any kid wanting to be a baseball player, football player. I think it's every, every sport, you know. Yeah. I mean, you always have the moment when you realize oh, that's what, I'm, what I want to do, you know. Yeah. That's, that's my life. Yeah. I, that's, 
I don't know how to explain that even in English, you know. Perfect. Perfect. No, that's per perfect answer. <laughs> Alon Day, thank you for coming out to Fans Choice. Best of luck with the NASCAR Next program and best of luck in the 2016 NASCAR Euro Series. And don't forget, Fans Choice, you can watch the NASCAR Euro Series live from Brands Hatch June 11th and 12th.